Hello everybody, this is Richard Cespedes and I wanted to uh, upload another uh, video um, talking something specifically about the, the afterlife and spirit realm and it has to do with um, the fact that um, there is no um, sexual orientation in, uh, in heaven there is no um, there is no uh, sexuality, there is no sexual desire and so when, when people die and they go and they go to heaven all those things that that once was part of their character and personality is now um, completely um, detached and uh, and melted away you know that now they they become um, because what it is at the physical body um, and um, the construct of the psyche and the role that the spirit wanted to come as is what constructs um, the sexual orientation and sexual desire and the sexual need of the person that's that's uh, that's living, that the spirit uh, inhabits the, the the body, the 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 puppet body, I guess. I don't want to say puppet, but that's the way that, that that's what it is basically, the living body. But um, when a person passes away, they um, sexual because the thing is though is that. Um, hate and envy and anger and uh, judgment and aggression all those things are completely uh, uh, it, like in reality in the whole context of living and dead all those things are completely unnecessary they really do not do anything and they don't perpetuate nothing they don't really do nothing they don't help anything really go anywhere but using them sparingly selfishness and um, you know wanting to succeed and you know sparingly just slightly wanting to succeed in a business or to succeed in a entrepreneurial type of things or wanting to be a really good athlete to perpetuate your career as a basketball player or musician or dancer you know like using um, the, the egocentricities the selfish things sparingly throughout your life so that you can um, per so that you can um, continue and push yourself forward so you can succeed and make something of yourself and make this life worthwhile that's okay that's okay um to use it sparingly in certain moments but just as long as it does not hurt others or or um make because the thing is though is that you have to watch out um that you do not make your living self the self that you are now your living self you don't make yourself a fool or a mean ugly person for you know um because when you pass away people are going to remember that you're going to leave behind these uh you know like who you were they're going to be like well yeah he you know he was smart and he was intelligent and he was very successful but he was very rude and angry and mean and aggressive passive aggressive narcissistic and you know like you know um you don't want to have those things left behind and so that's why um you know um you're, you're leaving an imprint of yourself, you know, like when, when, when you're playing this game, your spirit inhabits this uh, physical puppet body. You want to uh, play the game and play the game uh, with, uh, with finesse and sensitivity and with uh, class and style to where you're kind and gentle and patient in observing and non-judgmental of, of others. So that when you do pass on, you know, you live a good life and when you have your life review, you do not um, have any regrets or nothing like that. But anyways, um, like sexuality doesn't, you know, like what, like you know, what I'm trying to get at is that sexuality, basically, the whole totality of life and death, both are both real and both are still alive. When you're dead, you're alive. And alive. Um, sexuality is not really necessary. Sexuality is not really a necessary thing. You know, um, it's a necessary thing here because that's how we constructed the game for people to kind of interact and have sex and you know and to you know um give spawn to other children and have births and all this other stuff and and to and, and also to, to to have sex to have a child being born it gives an opportunity for another spirit to enter and to play the game as your son that's the thing is that when you have sex and you have a child you're you're opening a, a portal for the spirit for another spirit that you may not even know or socialize socialize with or maybe are or or is a relative from a gazillion years ago that wants to come back as your son 
you know um you're giving opportunity you're opening that gateway for that spirit to come in um to live another life so that they can play the game along with you so now instead of having two players uh the husband and the wife now they have three players the husband the wife and the son now there's three players in the game and so the game becomes a little bit more fun and maybe at times more complex and, and hardship but then the game uh has more players so now there's more things going on the more commotion you know and uh and 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 also to homosexuality and all this other stuff and pedophilia and all this stuff you know um you know it's kind of negative stuff you know um, people don't really accept homosexuality and all this other stuff but the thing is you have to understand is that those are just concepts that exist in this realm they do not exist and they do not have no purpose to exist when you're dead they're just concepts and their ideas and their tools in this realm for people to explore and to find out if they're really horrible or they're really good or maybe you can make it work and stretch and mold a sexuality to to bring some positivity out of it to reconstruct it to reinvent the wheel of the of it to 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 make something good come out of it to, to turn poo into gold you know turning poo poo into gold that's what it is you know finding bad things and maybe you know if you're creative if, if you know the game you could you, you could explore and you could uh understand it you don't like it but maybe there's something you could you know mess around with it and tweak it to kind of bring some positivity to the world from this ugly thing and so uh like basically what i want to get at is that all spirits are basically asexual all spirits are asexual they do not um there is no asexuality asexuality basically is um is the the ruler thing it, it, it it's it's basically um it reigns triumphant asexuality reigns triumphant in the spirit world you know uh, that that's like i said in the living realm asexuality is the um to me is the um the holy grail of all the sexualities because it's like being a buddhist you don't have to engage in sexual activity you'll need to you'll need to engage too deeply in relationships to complicate your life to get involved in a relationship that may not work and have a child child and then to divorce and all those other things you know and then you, you need to have diseases or 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 other things you know um and that's why i say that asexuality is a sexuality that should be practiced you know um what, what is the other word it's um celibacy i guess kind of similar to that at least if you have a if you have a desire to find love and sex practice celibacy and try to consider that to, as a form of asexuality and um a, a, all the spirits are asexual there is no sexuality there is no gaze there is no nothing nothing up there they're asexual all spirits asexual so the, the whole spirits have got have got something going so we should probably consider turning our lives to be more asexual or at least be more celibate and to work more on helping others and not being so selfish and trying to uh trying to engage in sexual deeds and trying to you know um get drunk and go out partying and being negative and uh, men leave women and they, they have children they leave another woman they leave that child and the families are broken because the men leave the families and then the women you know some of them they mess around a lot too and they break up the families you know and so the men and women are kind of like they need to find a balance to where they can find the situation where they're more equalized and balanced and find peace and help others you know maybe consider your life in an asexual at least a celibate to, to gain some knowledge from that to find inner peace to find inner enlightenment to be quiet in yourself asexuality to be cons to consider something else to find a different depth to allow you to discover yourself to find the kindness of self and to spread that knowledge and to help others and an asexuality can help because if the spirits are doing it then why can't we bring that down here and kind of spread it around a little bit be a little asexual more often in your life you know it's a game you don't need you know me you may have desire to be a heterosexual or be a homosexual but you don't really need to act out on those things you don't really need to do that if you practice celibacy and practice more on being more self-content and being more self-contained self-developing throughout your whole entire existence on earth and before you die and go back again then do it consider asexuality as a venture that can transform your life so that you can be just a, a celibate buddhist monk just 
bringing peace and knowledge, you know? Because, you know, it's that's a, that, that might be something we can do. And this week's just what it is. I just want to talk about it. Sorry, I kind of bounced around a little bit. But I think I've talked about everything I need to do. Thank you guys for watching. God bless.